Trend Talk. We have an exciting show for you today, and I'm excited to be here with my co-host, Naive. Thank you. I'm excited to be here, too. Well, you know, Naive, the other day I was looking through Facebook, mm -hmm. and I saw a post by Ada Rodriguez, who was our co-host for last season right. on the Trend oh, Talk. I love her. She's yeah. an amazing comedian. Yes. yes. And she was not being funny. She was being serious with this post. It right. was about how Latinos don't support each other, but one of the one of the sections of her rant which is I'll say it for you I believe that's the name of her rants which I love good job Aida <laughs> yes and so one of the portion of her rant that I really zeroed in was this take a look hey what's up everybody it's your girl Ida Rodriguez with my latest I'll say it for you and what is up with all the hatred on the darker skin and the black I mean I know what's up colonialism was the greatest my of all time but what I'm saying is why do we continue to buy into this why do we not associate melanin with divinity and something special as opposed to letting people convince us that we're less than because we're darker listen all of us come from the motherland whether you want to accept it or not yeah and exactly what she's talking about that colonized mentality yeah. is what drives a lot of people to want to appear or look like the dominant culture like look at baseball great Sammy Sosa Oh my goodness. He's un unrecognizable, right? Yeah. I mean, he was a Dominican beautiful man before. black guy. Right, he was a beautiful man before, and now it's like, it looks like he has something going on wrong because he lightened his skin, he got And it doesn't contacts. look natural. It does not look How natural. How do you change your color and make it look natural? I know, that's, that's crazy. But there's also little Kim. Right. You know, she's a beautiful black singer. Right. And now she looks like a, she looks a little made up. You know, she, I think she had chin implants. Well, it looks like she got it all. She got the five special, like the, ch the lo you know, the nose, the cheek, the chin, the eyes. And her skin color. And the skin whitening. She got light, lighter, yeah. I mean, I think at a certain point, it's not even like a cosmetic little, you know, pick-me-up. It's literally body dysmorphia. And I looked it up, and it says body dysmorphia is a mental disorder characterized by the obsessive idea that some aspect of one's own appearance is severely flawed and warrants exceptional and extreme measures to hide or fix it and sometimes these flaws are delusional and or imagine like obviously it's almost like an illness right yeah it's kind of like um you know when you look at yourself and you think you're quote ugly or, or you have a big nose and you really don't and it's yeah. sad because i don't you see a lot of people in media just destroying their their beautiful features but but also it's like what you see in the media affects the way you feel about yourself, which, for example, there's that Iranian Instagrammer. Oh, yeah. Her name is Sahar Tabar. She's only 22 years old. She's already had 50 operations, surgical, plastic wow. surgery, surgical operations to look like Angelina Jolie. Wow, that's I mean, so you must sad. really, I mean, to admire someone like that and then go through the pain because the surgeries are not easy right. to look like them that's just crazy right and it's like you when you're that young it, it's sad that there was no parental intervention right, right. because it's like where are the parents guiding you right. and telling you like don't do it and I, I mean I guess kids are gonna do what they're gonna do but where is she getting all this money? I mean, this money's coming from somewhere, right? It's definitely no no uh, parental supervision, and it's definitely going too far because some even people who don't have parents are going crazy that way, and they shouldn't. They are adults. They right. should know better. But, you know, what about the celebrities? You know, the celebrities, n not that they're changing their look because that's what they make their bread and butter, but how they change because if they feel they're too ethnic, they change to be not so ethnic. Right, for example, Jennifer Lopez, she rose to stardom. Um, you know, she was on In Living Color, and she had these beautiful brown. And then she played Selena with that beautiful black long hair. And then all of a sudden, now she's blonde. I, I like her hair, I like the highlights. I've done it myself. But, you know, I think a, a brown is also beautiful. Brown hair is also but beautiful. She, but she felt that she needed to go lighter so she could make it. Because, you know, it's that whole blonde is better or, right. you know, blondes have more fun and all that. And even in media, Julie Chen, who's a co-host on The Talk, she even admitted it herself, saying she got eyelid surgery because she's Chinese. She got eyelid surgery to look less Chinese because she wanted to get more work as a journalist on news, as a reporter, as an anchor. And she felt but that tell she me. wouldn't with her eyelids. Tell me. Is it bad for people who have ethnic features 
to try and change their look? No, I think it's bad that uh, the messages out there are just so Eurocentric. You know, and I think it's changing a little bit. We've seen Lupita Nyong'o getting a lot of praise yeah. and getting a lot of um, covers on prestigious, beautiful magazines because she is beautiful and there should be more ethnic looking models and actresses and people on those covers. Huh. We're going to go on to our next segment because we have a beautiful Boricua that's going to be here in the house. Carlos Gomez, this guy works. He's never unemployed. So we got to learn all about, about all of his shows that he's doing and all the work that he's doing. So don't go away. Stay tuned. <laughs>